Hi, my name is Barbara Zanos, and I'm the owner of Barbara Zanos Event Planning and Custom Cool, cool. So, um, what event did you recently do? Well, I had an event with um, Formalism, and they presented an event called The Session. It was at Dolce's, and it was really good. So what did you do? Like, what what is your title? Like, what does it consist of? Um, as an event planner, it's important to um, have an interaction with your clients. It's basically you're helping them, you're guiding them in order to create a perfect event. So my role as event planner with Formalism, who consisted of Jean, Vic, and Roosevelt, aka Dub, um, <laughs> I had meetings with them, I had weekly meetings with them, and we come up with ideas for the event, we came up with an itinerary, a schedule, we came up with sponsorship packages, and basically just, I'm like the motivator, I'm the person that makes sure that they get their stuff done for the event, and to work with them if they need help, you know, with any ideas or any aspects of the event, that's what I'm here for. Okay, cool. So, how did you get started? Like, how did this business, you know, grow? And well, actually, um, it started when I was in college. Um, as a sophomore, I became president of the Haitian Student Association at Singapore Hall University, and <laughs> so I created events. And then I moved on to a, a nonprofit, which is the New Jersey Haitian Student Association, where I became assistant director. And with that, I had to create meetings. I had to um, be in charge of meetings, in charge of events for the organization. And I was also the banquet chair for a couple of years for the organization. So I threw banquets for them. And everybody was telling me, like, B, you're really good at this, so maybe you should think about it you know, as a side career. And I said, you know, it's, you, you might be right. So I started my own business and it was the best decision I ever made. Cool. So how did you like, how did you like um, come up with the name and, and say, you know what, this is like what I want to do for life? Um, how I came up with the name, I was like writing down names, jotting down. I had the experience and <laughs> It was, I just had a lot of crazy names, and I said, the best way to market myself is to market my name. I want people to know me, so I don't want to have, like, you know, another title where people have to ask, you know, who's the owner. As soon as they hear Barbara's and Oaks, they know that I'm the owner, so that's where I got the name from. And, um, it just, it just clicked to me when I just started doing events. It was something that, it was a passion of mine, and I felt as though, like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Because I wanted to be a lawyer, but at the end of the day, I knew that I wouldn't be happy as a lawyer. I wanted, I would be happy being an event planner. That's what so, I did. what did you recently do other than the session? You know, you had an event. Yeah, well, um, besides um, formalism for my clients, I have other clients. My major client is Raphael Gordon. He's a motivational speaker. And my title for his uh, motivational group is I'm the event planner and the book seminar coordinator. So I'm actually forming a book tour. It's a, a, a year, and it's a worldwide book tour. So that's my main project as of right now. It started in September, and it ends in September. So, yeah, that's the main project. Um, I want to interview you because I knew you were going to do big things. I know you're gonna, you know, you're gonna take it there. Oh, thank you. I definitely want to be the first one to interview you before you get big and forget the little bit. <laughs> I will never forget. I will never forget my people. <laughs> so how can the people contact you? Like, okay, well website? the the best um the best way right now is to email me at um e v e n c s at r a h g o r dot com. That's events at rockboard.com. Um, I'm the event coordinator there, so you can easily email me, and I'll email you the same day. Also, you can call me at 973-559-6183, extension 1. That will go directly to me. And um, also, I'm on Facebook. Hit me up, Robert Rosie Knows. Um, there's a space between the E after the Z, and there's a capital N. So, you want to spell the whole thing? So it's B-A-R-B-A-R-A. V E space capital N O S E. You know you can check me out on Facebook. You know hit me up, email me, and I'll get back to you. If you have a project that you're interested in doing, I'll be more than willing to help you with that. Okay. What um what motivation would you give? Like what inspiration, like thoughts, or anything like that you give to someone that wanted to start their own business? And I know you're pretty young, so you're doing it early. But yeah. I can't wait till you, you know. 
I want to see what's going to happen in the future. Right. So what would you tell somebody, you know what I mean? Because we are West Indies, to set, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, you know, our parents look at us like, okay, we want to be doctors, you right. be doctors, stuff mm -hmm. like that. So if you want to do out anything outside the norm, you know, what can they do to keep on molding themselves if they don't have that support from their parents? You know, that's an excellent question. Actually, my parents, like, they're accepting of my decision. But you know how my parents are Haitian, so <laughs> they're always like, oh, I want you to be a nurse and things like that. <laughs> but that's not for me. If I could give any advice to anybody who want to pursue something out of, you know, being not a teacher or a doctor or a lawyer, I say pursue your dream because at the end of the day, it's about you. It's not about your parents. It's not about your siblings. It's about you. It's about what makes you happy. So if you want to be a designer, go ahead and do it. If you want to be a flower artist, I don't care. If you want to be a graffiti <laughs> artist, do what you want to do in life because at the end of the day, it's all about you. It's what makes you happy. Like, I would hate for the future for us for our generation to be monotone and to be in a society where everybody is doing the same thing, then we're not going to be creative. We're not experiencing what our true passions are. So if you have something that you love, go for it. Mm, I like that one. I like that one. Thank you. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. But, um, you know, I'm glad that I had a chance to, you know, sit down and, you know, and just have an interview with you because I feel like it's very important to see another side of, you know, the hatred community. You know, yes. Definitely. Um, I never met a really an event planner. You did your thing. Thank you. You definitely did your thing. You can see her in a couple of like YouTube videos shaking her ass and in the yellow. It'll put it body so. Put it body. Put it body. So you can definitely check her out. She's really cool. She's down to earth. Thank you. Um, she's beautiful, of course. Aw, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, cool. So you doing? You definitely doing your thing, Barbara. Right that nose. You definitely gonna hear that. And um, can you just repeat the website and how they can, like, get to you again? Or? Okay. Um, in order to get to me, in order to, you know, contact me, it's email me at events at rockboard.com. It's E-V-E-N-T-S at R-A-H-G-O-R dot com. And also, I have another email address if you want. It's D-E-N-O-S-E-C-A at Yahoo dot com. That's my personal email. So if you want to hit me up on my personal email, that is fine as well. Okay, and how can they see this interview? Oh, they can see this interview at www dot the world is us dot blogspot dot com. It's www dot t h e w o r l d i s u s dot b l o g s t o t dot com. You better spell it out. You can spell it. No spaces in between. Cool. Thank you. And thank you, Kathy. I know you and the world is us. You guys are doing a phenomenal job, so I support you guys as well. So keep it up. Thank you. You got to watch that young youth. You know That's right. And I know you have an event coming up. November 20th. November 20th. You know, I think it's the premiere of your website, I believe. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to be there. Whoever's looking at this interview, you got to be there. It's going to be live. It's going to be on point. So come out and support. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So much love for this one right there. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely look up to you. you know, oh, thank you. you know, thank you. That means a lot to me because I, I'm all about inspiring people. So if you look at me as an example, I'm really humbled about that. So thank you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.